Hey, good evening, y'all. Welcome back. It's Donnie, and I'm inviting you to join me for a pipe and a pour. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Uh, <clears throat> hope uh, everyone took the opportunity to get in touch with their mom, if able to, and let them know they love them, and uh, very much appreciate their impact in their lives. Um, we had a good day here, just kind of laid back. Uh, had a great weekend with the family, but um, we've all been sick. So if you saw my last video uh, of my excursion down to Jack Daniels and the near screen distillery here in Middle Tennessee last weekend with a couple of my buddies, <clears throat> we got home from that and I got sick. Been sick since, still dealing with it. I know allergies are killing everybody, but mine are a little, this is like a virus, a cold virus or something, anyway. So I haven't been able to get outside and smoke a pipe since last weekend. So it's good to be out here. I think I needed this just to kind of settle down after what was a long, busy week and a busy weekend trying to recover and all this stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just good to be out here. Good to be talking to you fine folks in the YouTube pipe community. While this is not going to serve as an official check-in for Paladin Piper's Codger Challenge, I am still smoking Edward G. Robinson and my Bull Moose from the good folks down the street in Columbia at, uh, at Briar Works. Like I've said before, I, I just, I love this little guy. It just feels, it, it's stubbier and rounder and thicker than I thought I wanted but once I got my hands on it and got a feel I was like I love this little dude and uh, so yeah I'm enjoying it and I'm beginning to enjoy Edward G. Robinson a little bit more now <clears throat> I'll like I said it's not my official check-in number three for Contra Challenge I'm gonna do that later on this week I hope because uh, I have some other thoughts I want to share in that and this one is very specific now, this one's very specific to Andrew and the Southern at the Southern Piper. We'll get to that in a moment. Um, but I just wanted to kind of check in because I, I'm I'm only smoking Edward G. Robinson this month, and it's you know the Codger blend that I've never tried before, and it doesn't wow me. It didn't knock my socks off, but it is mellow and mild, and I guess that was kind of the point for an everyday smoker kind of thing. But I'm getting to where I think I am enjoying it a little bit more, and I'm learning. I'm learning how to smoke it better, maybe. So last week in the last video, um, when uh, I checked in, smoking my cob with Edward G. Robinson, we're outside and the wind was blowing, and man, it just it burned right through real fast. Even though I like, I kept trying to slow it down, um, and even tonight, being humid out here, it still seems to be burning rather fast. So. I'm trying to do a better job of just sipping on it and I'm trying to understand what that means. We'll get to that later too. Anyway, the point of tonight. <clears throat> like I said, this goes out to Andrew, Andrew at the Southern Piper. Number one, this is my VR response to him for his 800th subscriber giveaway. If you guys haven't noticed, he's closer to 900 now, which is fantastic. So. Big congrats to my buddy Andrew um, on reaching this this milestone. Um, it's it's impressive and it's uh, something I can only hope for uh, to number one continue to to be interesting <laughs> and relevant to you guys. You know, year and a half, two years from now. Um, and excuse me if I get a little distracted. My Cardinals are up here playing the Boston Red Sox. Got it pretty much in hand right now. But if you follow baseball, you know the St. Louis Cardinals are off to a bad start, so it's been tough. Up 9-1 now. Let's see how they do. Um, but I'm really excited for Andrew in this. Um, this you know, his channel means a lot to him, and uh, he puts a lot into it, and I appreciate that. And so, therefore, it means a lot to me as a, as a consider a friend and, and a follower. Um, <clears throat> but why so much for him? Well, 
when I got back into pipe smoking a year, year and a half ago, I just did it occasionally out here by myself. I had a couple of buddies that may occasionally have a pipe with me or a cigar, but it just wasn't very often. Um, but as I found myself sort of being drawn to smoke, to smoke more frequently, uh, again, as a means to sort of just be still, to settle down, to make time, to just unplug um, uh, and, and just collect thoughts, read, whatever. Um, <clears throat> it wasn't until last year that I discovered the, the YTPC, the YouTube Pipe Community. I had no idea that such thing existed and there was that much content out there. And one of the first, first folks I ran into or, or found uh, was the Southern Piper. Uh, obviously, there's a connection there. Southern in Alabama, I'm in Tennessee, proud guys of the South. Um, you know, our stylists are very similar. We apparently go and see the same folks for haircuts and beard trims. I don't know. But we do have a lot in common. And so I've really, um, I was just sort of drawn to the genuine nature uh, of, of his channel. And so when I saw he was going to come up to the Mule Town Pipe Show back in March, I'd already planned on going anyway. But I was like really excited. Then I was like, oh, maybe I'll go meet this guy that I've been watching, which is weird for me anyway. The whole lurker thing. I get it. Um, but I had the chance and I ran into him down there and he, Andrew took some time to talk with my wife and I for several minutes. And he was just really gracious and really encouraging. And, um, you know, I had several questions about why he did what he did and how he got started and all that kind of stuff. And he was very encouraging to me to just like, hey, just do it. And so again, that's part of the reason I got started was his encouragement. So I wanted to say thank you to Andrew for that. And congratulations, buddy, on 800 plus, almost 900 followers now. As part of your giveaway, your prompt was to talk about our favorite warm weather, spring, summer, outdoor activities. Um, <clears throat> I've always loved baseball, so that's one of them. Uh, I love to watch baseball. I love going to baseball games. Um, but really, since I was a kid, my favorite thing was water. Used to spend a lot of time on lakes and rivers, fishing and boating and kayaking and all that kind of stuff. Loved it. As I've gotten older, it's not as easy to do and don't have the accessibility I once did um, as far as to, to boats and lakes and that kind of thing. But still, outdoor activities always were on. Grew up in the pool, uh, grew up, you know, again, lakes, rivers, wherever, swimming around. Um, but now, I went out and married myself a girl from Miami, Florida. She's got salt water in her veins. So, every chance we get, it's beach or pool, beach or pool, beach or pool. And we love it. Relaxing, meeting up with friends, going with friends, uh, playing. Uh, and, and again, got a 10 year old daughter. She keeps me young and playing with her and her friends keeps me young. So that's sort of become our go-to favorite. Like we can't wait to go to the pool, uh, which we did yesterday. It opened up here in the neighborhood yesterday. Water was frigid. She had a great time. I sat there and laughed. It was good. It was a good time. So that's, um, that's sort of our favorite outdoor activity, is, uh, is water-based, whether it's the beach or the pool. Um, hoping to get back to Miami at some point this summer. We talked to her folks down there this morning for Mother's Day and uh, checked in and they'd been in the pool at their house already. I'm like, oh, I wanna get to Miami. It's very nice to visit. Wouldn't wanna live there though. Fun to visit. Um, the second part of Southern Piper's giveaway was the good deed. And uh, I just want to thank him again for that. I, let's, number one, done and dusted. Uh, not a pat on the back. Uh, the, oh, Donnie, piping a poor, he did good things. Let's make it a habit for all of us. For all of us. Let's always make it a habit. We've, um, 
I mean, we learned the golden rule as a kid to do unto others the way we'd want to be treated. But more often now, we're like, we're more apt to complain that we didn't get treated the way we wanted to be treated, even though we didn't treat others the way we wanted to be treated. Did you follow me there? I think you did. hope so. Um, we've forgotten how to be gracious. We've forgotten how to be kind to one another. Um, to disagree with someone is to hate on them. No, I just don't see it the same way you do. And that's okay, isn't it? It should be. It's all right. Um, some people love Edward G. Robinson. I'm okay with it. doesn't mean I hate him. We just disagree. Some people like whiskey. Some people don't. We just disagree. Why is that so hard? Mm. But the point is, because I'm rambling tonight, I understand. It's been a while. I'm out of practice, I guess. Um, we've forgotten how to be gracious and kind to one another. Um, and we should just do it for the sake of the goodness, for the sake of being kind. Um, we don't need any, anything. We shouldn't expect anything in return. Uh, but that's, that's the life that... As a, as a Jesus follower, we're called to. If you're not a Jesus follower, you don't prescribe to that, that, that faith or, or that line of thinking, again, that's okay. That's okay. Um, but, but I do, and that's as, and again, Christians, we're usually our own worst enemies. Um, because we tend to you know, step in it more often than not. But the fact of the matter is, if we boil it all down, love one another. Love your neighbor as yourself. So, Andrew, thank you for the reminder on that. And thank you for asking people to just to go do that. And it can be a simple thing to love one another. Um, and, and, and so I just, um, if we can make that a habit, a lifestyle, being gracious and kind to one another, God, I think we'd be a lot further on. It's one thing I love about the pipe community that I found in the last year and even more so the last several months. <clears throat> no matter where we come from, what, what our faith is, whether we have it or we don't, no matter what religious affiliation or political affiliation or left, right, center, or pronouns, or any of that stuff, it doesn't matter. Hey, can we gather around a pipe, maybe a pour, and just enjoy conversation and getting to know one another? And that's what I love. So, Andrew, thank you again for the reminder to do that. I'm rambling. I'm going long. And I'm sorry. I've got something else I need to say. Um, if you guys haven't, done a VR for Andrew for his giveaway. I encourage you to do so. Very generous uh, giveaway that he's got going on, uh, especially co collaborating with the folks at, I had to write it down, MBSD Pipes, because I kept wanting to call it MBSB. That's all right. It's MBSD Pipes. Um, thank you for pointing me towards them. Not, I was not familiar with them until you mentioned it, and now I've been checking out their site. Got my eye on a couple of things there. Waiting to see them go up on the site here soon, hopefully. Um, but it seems like they're they're doing some good stuff, and I appreciate their uh, their efforts to help uh, help Southern Piper with his giveaway. Um, last thing, and I, I'm not brown nosing. I just appreciate you know someone who's genuine in what they do, and they do it for the love of it, not to get anything in return. Uh, so when I when I see that, I want to call it out. I'm congratulate. I want to lift it high. Um, last thing, congratulations. To the Southern Piper and Princess Truvy on their engagement. Really excited for you guys. Super duper happy. Uh, as a second time around her, uh, as Frank Sinatra saying, love is better the second time around. So I have nothing but um, high hopes and excitement for you guys as, as, as you start this new chapter in your lives together. I, I do have one question though. If you're marrying Princess Truvy, what does that make you? Not a prince. No. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Think on that. Let us know. Um, but hey, thank you guys again for joining me tonight. Completely buried the lead. And this is worth pointing out. So last weekend, I mentioned that we went down to see folks at Jack Daniels and Uncle Nearest at the Nearest Green Distillery. Beautiful facility down there. They're doing amazing stuff. Great restaurant and bar at the Humble Baron. If you're ever in Middle Tennessee, feel free to shoot me a note. I will give you directions. I'll show you, tell you where to go. Maybe meet you there. Who knows? Um, it is sourced whiskey, but it's really good what they're doing. It's really good. And it's amazing how the same recipe and sort of process they use at Uncle Nearest and at Jack Daniels 
give us very distinct and different flavors. Um, but great visits, great time. Um, big fan of both of those. But for now, I think I probably should wrap it up because it looks like my cards have won. Yes. Uh, and with that, I will say have a great week, everybody. Thank you for joining me for a pipe and a pour. Be good to each other. Be good to yourselves. Talk to you soon.